Hello, welcome. I haven't played some World of Warcraft. Um, we switched it up again. We switched to a, a different realm on the same, different realm on the same private server, because we were doing like seven X um, experience gain. It was way too fast. So, and actually on that one you could lower it, but there's some other reasons for why we switched. The one that we're playing on now. Uh, is actually not Wrath of the Lich King. It is vanilla, original, and then eventually it will turn to Burning Crusade, and then eventually it will turn to Wrath of the Lich King. So they let you step through all three of the the well, the two expansions in the original game, one after the other. And right now, so far, the Encourage raid just is going to be opening in a few days. Like people, the server just finished collecting the resources for it. Um. And then later there's going to be a resource collecting for opening the, the dark portal or whatever the fuck that goes to the Burning Crusade, the Outlands. Um, and so the, what's cool is that it uses the Wrath of the Lich King client, not the classic, but the original version 3.3.5. And, and it steps through all the different uh, expansions with the same client. So you don't have to get like three different versions of the client or whatever the fuck. And it also has a few, like, um, quality of life improvements, like, uh, um, multi-specialization or whatever, the group finder, um, stuff like that. Alright, so, hit that bastard. Alright, so, the other thing we changed is that... I told Sirius that we should play Horde, because we already played the Elven Forest like three fucking times. Yes. Tired of it. And I it's actually like... Tired of it. I actually like playing Horde side more. Uh, I like the zones better, I like the cities better. Um, I like the, the races better. Um, he's, I told him to make an Orc Warrior, but he wanted to make a Tauren, which is a good choice. Actually, I always make a Tauren Warrior. I've seen too many orcs in uh, Gothic 2, so. <laughs> <laughs> so the fucker can't stop talking about Gothic 2. You know what, by the way, well, did, didn't you find. I think that was 2005. I think it actually came after this game. Didn't you say. Oh, really? Didn't you say that yeah. um, there's a Gothic 2 co op add on or something? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I shouldn't have mentioned it, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How come the master volume only wants to seem to change by 10 at a time? I can go from like 41% to 31. What if I'd like 35, motherfuckers? I don't know. Um. A oh, fuck. That's super weird. So my character, I made a priest because there's no paladin on Horde side on vanilla. Only the alliance had a paladin. So my healer options are... Uh, druid, which I don't want to do because I already have a druid that I'm playing with my my wife. <laughs> and then, oh, by uh, the way, yeah, sorry to interrupt. I had to look it up. November 29, 2002, Gothic 2. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I think I remember like more like Gothic 3 was coming out around the time of World of Warcraft. That was 2006. Yeah. Um, no, this that shit looked better than this game, and but I mean it's not an MMO, so it gets focused on the details of the well. So game this. More. This game um, looks better than it did when it first came out in 2004, by the way. It's been, it has been upgraded. Yeah. This is the Wrath of the Lich King client, which is upgraded textures and stuff. Gothic 2 looked significantly better than this game in 2002. Well, yeah, you got to make compromises for your... You know, yes. you're, talking, you're talking about like... Having a thousand players, that's what that's... Yeah, exactly. You're talking about like, what, foliage density? Or what do you mean by looks better? You know what I mean? Uh, just sharper, sharper textures and stuff. More, more geometry for the polygons. Some guess, of that shit, parts. some of that shit just comes down to, uh, like, you know how uh, Nintendo 64 textures look versus PlayStation, and some people will say, well, PlayStation looks better because it's got more detailed textures. I got him. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Uh, wait, so I say that again. So PlayStation people would always say the textures look better on there, but some people would argue, no, they actually look better on Nintendo 64, and. Uh, the difference is that Nintendo 64 usually uses more like cartoony textures, and so cartoony cartoony textures though are actually good because they're more 
timeless. Like they're not. It's like a, you know, the graphics fidelity it will not be a, like looking low quality once resolutions go up and stuff. You know what I mean? Which is yeah. why this game actually looks pretty good even now because of yeah. the car cartoony art style. Which they went kinda... for this certain style, which you, it still looks how it's intended to look 20 years later. So, yeah. Which, by the way, if you look at Gothic 2 now, it looks pretty shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, we'll there are HD texture mods, motherfucker. Okay, yeah. Actually, I saw some sort of a, a, mod, a client for World of Warcraft that said something like that. Some Russian guy was posting on the forums and he's saying like, we have a much upgraded client with improved textures and blah blah blah. And then I see people replying like, my frame rate went from 100 to 10, motherfucker, what the fuck? This thing's definitely not <laughs> optimized. <laughs> I had to so. send myself an email to remind myself. Gothic 2 co-op mod, motherfucker, you've doomed yourself. It's gonna happen someday. <laughs> right, so wait, my character, so my options are Druid Healer or Shaman Healer, but Shaman to me, I, I always try to play that class, I don't like it. To me, it's like the Linux user class. It's like um, doing everything in a more difficult way on purpose. Like, you see like a shaman run up, he's like slapping his totems down. He's like, ah, oh, doing all these things. Ah, ah, and, then, and then it's like this uh, primitive warrior just runs up and goes, bam, bam, <laughs> dead. <laughs> but then uh, I think in the end, the shaman is very powerful. If you, you know, it just, it feels so try hard. So I don't, it's not like a, I don't like the play style of a shaman for some reason. Um, shaman player is going to hate me for that, but I don't care. How do I... Sorry, how do I compare... I have all these boots and pants and stuff in my inventory. How do I... Uh, used to hold left shift to compare it to what I'm wearing. Why can't... Why does it, am I not wearing anything? Yeah, you're probably not wearing anything on that slot. There we go. Trying to trade with me? Oh. Oh, no, I'm out of, I'm out of space. I need a bag. Okay, hold on. I'm making... I need a bag. Trade, trade me some trash. Oh, okay. All right. So, because this is not, um, well, okay, so let me just explain something real quick. All right, let me give you those weapons. Or equip your bags first. So when you play this vanilla mode, and you're the maximum level 60, and you're fighting like level 60 things and you're getting gold, to make like a thousand gold is kind of hard. But once they added level 70 content, making, because they have to increase everything, that means also the amount of money you get and the cost of things increase, right? Suddenly making 5,000 gold is as easy as it was to make a thousand or something like that, right? And once they added the level 80 content, it was even easier to make money. And that makes it so... Um, because people have more money, they're willing to pay. Wait, come back here. One yeah, of those you is, me a new sword, did you? It's like one's like level five you can use, the other one's like level thirteen you could switch to once you reach level thirteen. Well you you should already be level five, yeah. But so just reach five. So wait, hold on, let me let me explain this real quick. So if you have, wait, you know what my sort my my stupid uh, blunt clubs thing is damages. It's a it's a war hammer, I guess, battle hammer. Three to five, and this is twenty to thirty. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because you had like a level one weapon or some shit. Yeah. So bind it to me, okay. But so okay, hold on. So, so imagine imagine this. Imagine you have a thousand gold, right? And you're trying to buy some copper. Versus, imagine you have twenty. Imagine you have twenty thousand gold. When you have that much money, you're willing to pay more for the same thing just because you're like, I want it before someone else, you know. And so then, that's why later when you play like on Wrath of the Lich King, you would sell like basic low-level materials for really high. And you'd make like fifty to hundred gold really quickly. Your character probably needs to level up his sword skill because he's. he's not good at it, so he's probably missing a lot right now, right? How do you how can you tell? Well, the main thing you could see is down at the bottom left, you'll see his sword skill increasing with the blue text. You see that shit? Yeah, so uh, it just went from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I think it's like five per level. So if you're level five, I think the max now is like twenty-five or thirty or something like that. So you're gonna reach the max pretty fast. But imagine if you're level fifty. 
and you switch weapons, you have to fight like a wolf or two for a while. Um, I don't want to change the quest text thing on the right. I want to make it a little bit bigger, it's a little bit small. Um, that's a mod called Quest Helper. So hit yeah, the, the red shit on the is too so small and it like blends into the background too much. I put push escape, go interface, add-ons, quest helper, get the plus shit, and then in uh, I believe it's under interface, yes, and it's called quest tracker options, quest tracker size. Is that what you talk about? Oh yeah, that's much better. It is like one. 130. Oh, I can actually read where it says Pale Main Tanner, 0 out of 10. Pale Main Poacher, 0 out of 5. So, I couldn't see that shit. See, the original Wrath of the client has a quest tracking thing like that, but this one is a little bit more compact vertically, which I like. And it will also auto sort the order. So, whichever quest objective is closest to you will be at the top. So, sometimes you'll see them switching orders. They're moving around as the, as the distance changes. Hit open your map real quick. Yeah. Notice how it has a path, little dot path, showing. See that shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's actually showing you an optimized route to do all oh, of the yeah. quests in the area. This is like the original Quest um, mod, which was replaced by Questy, but Questy never managed to add all the features that this one had. Like this one had all these algorithms for calculating op I... optimal questing order and the arrow at the top of your screen. Can I on this map or no? No, you just gotta use that stupid uh, arrow at the top of your screen. Okay. Which, uh, Questy doesn't even do that. You have to get a separate add-on called Tom Tom. But Quest Helper had it all in one. Basically, I can see that I need to be going south toward this uh, Pale Strider quest, whatever it is, a lot of them. Pale yeah. main. Yeah, yeah. Let, me finish, uh, let me finish explaining the gold situation. So, yeah, yeah. so basically, before, on Wrath of the Lich King, oh, and not to mention also, once they added, um, I don't know if you have to kill these. Once they added uh, the ability to buy gold in officially into World of Warcraft. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's okay. You got it. No, you got it. You got it because I'm a healer. Drew two of them, and they're level six, but I'm level five now. Boss now. Hell yeah. Mind blast you, motherfucker. Sword nice. upgrade has made me a god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a. Yeah. Six so, times look, damage upgrade. Green items are like higher than you. But so, wait, let me quickly explain the, the money. Yeah, so, I'm listening. Yep. So basically, if you had a stack of copper, which is like 20, um, you sold it in the past, you'd be able to sell it for like. 50 silver per copper, you'd get like tens of gold for your stack, right? Now, the price of copper is like two, two silver, something like that. It's way, way lower. So, like, I harvested like a hundred copper or something, and I only made like three gold total off of that shit. Um, I'm an herbalist. Oh, I'm not an herbalist. What? Requires herbalism. What are my skills? Oh, tailoring and alchemy. <laughs> no gathering. No, I, mean, well, I like how these enemies don't respawn as fast. So how long does it take for the wolf to respawn, for example, after you kill it? I think in this area. five to 15 minutes. I don't remember. Probably five. I would say five So minutes. ridiculous in the other version. So fucking ridiculous. Oh, especially once it switches to cataclysm. They're like fucking nonstop respawning. So it's, stupid. Uh, it's like Wrath of the Lich King was already baby mode, and then they made it like... Infant toddler mode or something, basically with cataclysm. But so, okay. draw this single loser out over here. So basically, the point is, it's really hard to make money, and I have any, I have currently fourteen silver. Magician freak, eh? Come on, oh, he's not gonna. You can't draw this one out. He's got range. Master, <laughs> undrawable beast.
So sometimes you see them will uh, do a heal. It has a different sound. You can actually hear the difference when they're casting a healing spell. Then you can use your war stomp to interrupt their heal. Ah. Armored beast over here. Yes, they're all, they're all armored. They're different classes. Like some of them are uh, rogue. Some, some there's three types here. One of them's like a warrior. One's a mage, and one's like a little archer. Fuck. See, there's the archer. Fuck shooting his little bow and arrow at you. So you can actually draw them out with uh, by running away far enough. Oh, I see. Okay. Good to know. But they have like he has, like super armor or something. He's got a shield actually. Level 8, too. He's gonna run, bitch? Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Whatever, you got it. Oh no, this guy's magic eating the shit out of me. You got heals, though. Oh, okay. I healed your ass. Now they're attacking me because I. Hey, okay, motherfucker, you're gonna get fucked now. Yeah. It's too bad I can't actually put my bubble on you unless you're in my party. But I don't want to party with you until you're level 10. Uh, yeah. I'll just put your uh, health bar on so I can see it this way. Oh, what's crazy is like, if this was res if they're respawning so fast, how do you even clear out an area like this? You can't. In the other version, I mean, not even possible. Right. Ridiculous. Are you leveled up? Nice, level six. Yeah, so basically, that this this is how it was intended to do. Like you can clear out a little camp like this, but then they fuck it up, and then nothing works as intended in the later version. Yeah, there's all these little decisions like um, that, that were carefully decided by the original developers, by the way, based off of fucking years of research into past MMOs and stuff, right? Yep. Like, they um... They out of the company, and then they change it, and then they're sitting there rolling in their <laughs> graves. Their <laughs> alive graves. <laughs> like, just a, a very simple example is that the copper ore stacks to 10, the copper bars stack to 20. So what does that tell you immediately? What would you what would you do what would you do with the ores? You'd want to smelt them right away so they take up less room in your inventory, right? Right, right. So sometimes you'd be like in a dungeon and you'd find a smelting forge in the dungeon and you'd be like, oh yeah, let me hold on guys, let me smelt real quick so I can minimize you know the space it takes up in my bags. There's yeah. no more need for that. So they completely got rid of this little kind of irrelevant, but you know, still kind of cool feature. Yeah. Ruined. Uh uh uh. Motherfucker well, trying to run. I tried to arrow. Oh, yeah, so your character, you can actually get a weapon too. Like a uh, ranged weapon, I mean. But oh, nice. you don't really do very much damage with it, but what it's good for is to shoot them at range so you can bring them to you. Just, you know, call them out or whatever. Don't you have charge? No, I don't have that. I only have heroic strike. Oh fuck! You Battle shout. Oh, you haven't talked to your trainer. That means I think. No. Should you uh, let's finish killing these fucks and then you can. Don't you have like? Uh, I have like three out of ten hail main tanner, or whatever that is. And four out of five poacher. Three out of eight skinner. Here's a skinner. I'm gonna cannibalize four his out corpse. Four out of eight now. I'm gonna eat his ass. <laughs> and did freak. Gotta kill all these guys because that's what I need for the quest. Oh yeah, so I was gonna explain this because I uh, we recorded this video where series started, but I fucked up the audio, so it's never gonna get uploaded. But I basically need to re-explain that shit. So um, I was saying the reason I made. I was make so tired anyway. I was like so out of it. Oh uh, yeah. Um, the reason I want to make a healer though. It's so that way we can do dungeons. Ah. Because you need, like, specific classes for to do a dungeon.
which is that you need a tank, which I shouldn't just say these words without explaining them, you know, tank, fucking whatever, you know. Stunned him. Um, basically a tank is a character. These are character class types or archetypes that have existed in, like, EverQuest, in, in MUD games before there was even these 3D games like EverQuest, you know? But, so a tank class is kind of like a character that could take damage a lot better. They usually have a shield and stuff like that, and they have heavy armor. Um, and, but usually, as a, a compromise for that, they don't do as much damage. The point of it is, is that they have skills that can make the enemies target them or focus on them, so they are taking the least amount of damage. Like, even in Final Fantasy games, do you remember how your tank class, like Paladin or whatever the fuck, would have, like, defend, and he'd have, like, he'd block the attacks that would attack your healers and mages in the back, in the back rows? Do you remember that shit? He'd, like, jump in front of him and block the attack? Right, yeah. So, like... It was in the 90s. Because you don't want your mage to get hit with an attack, because they fucking die much quicker, so... Um, so then the other class type you need is a healer. They basically usually heal the tank. Because, like, imagine if your tank is taking only, like, 20% of the damage that your normal character would take. So he, he dies really slow. And then your healer is, like, focusing all the healing on that character. And only sometimes needs to heal the other ones when they get sloppy, basically. And so the rest of the characters are called EPS, which is damage per second, or just all damage. So you need, like, three damage characters, one tank... One healer in a party of five. In a party I'm of turn five. I off this uh, right click move thing because it keeps fucking up my trying to move to these enemies when I'm accidentally just trying to switch my camera rotation with the right mouse, you know? Okay. Uh, I accidentally click on the ground and it's like suddenly I stop running toward the enemy. Alright, okay, just go inter escape interface. And then under game, the add ons, mouse, click the move. Wait, uh, under, under mouse? Okay, yeah, so it's just been causing more issues that I never had last time I was playing, because... Yeah, and I end up, and I end up just running with uh, my movement keys anyway, so, yeah. And then you can also turn on, um, I th believe, Alt. Auto run, right? Right, I do, ha I do have that, I think. So you don't really need the long range or click to move when you can just do yeah. the auto run. Is the guy dodged it, motherfucker dodged it. Uh oh. Oh, bastard. You die now, freak. Trying to run now. Uh, my favorite oh, thing about you? level ten. No running. So the the priest is actually like really hard to kill. I did, like I never really played. I made a dwarf priest at some point, and I was realizing like, holy shit, the priest has like really good survivability because they can just. Put on all these uh, damage absorb spells, like this bubble on me currently. They can make enemies run away, like in fear. Um, they can heal themselves, of course. Don't you dare run, beast. Wait idiot behind me, but I don't need him. I mean, I'll kill him eventually, but he's not the type I need. I'll kill him eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, you know what happens? The reason they're always attacking me, by the way, you know why? It has to do with the aggro system. The aggression system. So, see how as soon as you hit him, it said change target, and now he's attacking you? Yeah. So, whenever, whenever uh, you run into a group, and you come into a range of them, they'll run and, and they'll attack you. But as soon as I heal you... They get mad at me for healing you, because healing also causes aggro or aggression, right? So that's why I kind of don't want to heal you unless I really have to, to avoid them atta attacking me. But if you do, like, 
even just the tiniest amount of damage on all all of them, then even then enough to counter my aggro caused by healing. See, watch. So if I heal heal you now. I don't really need these two idiots, but I gotta kill them. See how the other one is now attacking me? The one that you yeah. haven't, haven't damaged yet? Until you hit him like once. They basically he knows what's up. He goes, oh fuck, this is the real danger. Yeah, and so like... The real danger here. Part of the tank's job is to make sure that you're putting damage on all of the enemies. So that way the healer doesn't get attacked in a dungeon. Oh, that's but, cool, I know that shit. And so if you don't strategy. do... Strategy. If you don't, If you don't do that properly, they will yell at you. The nerds, they will yell at you. I'm sure. They'll say like, you're. What are you doing? They'll Doesn't say you you're. To play these kind of games. They'll say you're a bad tank. Need one of these tanners. Need two more tanners. Here's one. Tan his ass. Tan his ass. <laughs> He's a tanner. You better watch out, cause they're they're gonna find out soon that they're about to be attacked by a soup. <laughs> uh, super, <laughs> cause you're short. I'm a, I'm a goulash. Oh, you're soup. You're literally a soup. <laughs> <of soup. laughs> Uh, yeah. Where's the tanner at? I see only other idiot types. Um, I think there? oh, there's one up here. Yeah. See that one back there between them? I guess they're all kind of between them. But... Trying to lure him out. There's a cocksucker. Lure you out. You have to lure two of them, I think. He's in the middle of the whole clusterfuck. Soon die. He's already running like a little bitch. What animal do you suppose this these ones are based on? Moles or something? That those are mole people? <laughs> no, they're hyenas. Oh, there's the hyena ones. That's why they make that laugh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I see now. I see. The only thing I need now is uh Plane Strider. Where are those? Are those dumb birds, right? I see them. Those dumb birds. Not to be confused with the boar people. There's boar people and hyena people. <laughs> I can imagine they have mole people and groundhog people. And <laughs> they have uh, rat, rat people or whatever. Kobold or whatever. I did enjoy the whole... The way that, you know, in Vermintide uh, 1 and 2, the whole rat... The rat freaks that they made. The whole rat yeah. population with all types and kinds and everything. Here's the yeah. plane strider. Do you remember the big rat? The fucking... What is it called? The... Yeah, the brute, the tank, the tank rat. Yeah. They make a Vermintide 3. That'd be more fun than the shit that the Dark... Dark Tide or whatever they just released recently. No, that was enjoyable. Uh, actually, uh, people are good. people are saying positive things of Dark Tide lately. So the okay. bunch of add-ons and expansions that they added and stuff. You may return. Um, the reason you're not going to get a Vermintide three anytime soon is because Vermintide two is really good. So they'd rather just make content for Vermintide two. For yeah, now. It's like seven years old now. <laughs> seven years in 2020 plus time I scale know, yeah. is yeah. That's the way they do the, do it like, these days. Isn't like. What do you want out of an engine rewrite? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What do you want out of it? Oh, just uh, the graphics are looking a little dated now. What? Graphics are looking a little dated now, if you've seen it in newer games. Fine, I guess compared to like Unreal Engine 5 shit, you mean? Yeah, like uh, after about eight years, any game's gonna start look at, looking at it. So they weren't using uh, yeah. Unreal Engine though, they were using the Stingray custom engine. Remember I told you that's... Uh, yeah. Made they made that engine, uh, fat shark. Yeah, did. good that game looked when it came out. It was actually like one of the best looking games at the time. Do you remember, didn't I tell you about this? Like, fat shark made that and then they sold it to uh, the Maya people, the 3D Studio Max people. What are they called? Um, uh, AutoCAD, they sold it to AutoCAD or whatever. I see. They wanted a game engine and then, uh, there's only a few games made with it, which is Vermintide 1, 2, 
dark tide. And then guess what? Hell Divers 2 is made with it. Because they started oh, using see. that shit six years ago. But then, then AutoCAD just shut it down. And they said, we're no longer supporting right, this yeah. engine. They fucking bought it. But like the thing that's cool about that is Vermintide 1 would never have been made if they didn't buy that engine. Because they used the money from selling their engine to make the game, basically, to fund the game. Which Vermintide pretty- 1 was like, for its time, I think it was like 2014 or some shit, or... Is that? That's actually quite an old game now. I think that's a good engine. It amazing for its time. Uh, the engine is really good at doing shiny, shine and uh, uh, fog and stuff. Like shiny metals and fog and lighting was really good. Um, I need these birds now, just uh, the swoops over here. They're kind of rare. Yeah. All I need now, random wolves for leveling. I'll just watch Le Pervert. <laughs> level nine, level nine beast. Well, that's right, I don't have a weapon, I sold it. Oh, he's about to die. Oh, it's close. I'll give you a tiny bit of health. Nice close. Heal. Have a like heal over time thing to see how you're healing slowly. Oh, I see. Actually, that's only doing nine per second, and I think you're just regenerating. That's a shitty heal. Holy fuck. You're a terrible heal or whatever healer. Yep. Oh, yeah, so then basically, though. With me being a healer and you being a tank, it'll be really easy for us to make parties for a dungeon. Because, like, a lot of the time, what you do is, is if you're just a damage person, you have to look for a tank and you have to look for a healer, right? And, like, 90% of players play fucking damage classes. Because doing damage and killing shit is kind of the most fun. Yeah. The rarest is a healer, because most people don't at all. So, like, if you make a priest, you're usually very... You can get into parties really easily because you fill that role, that necessary role. Um, you make a priest, you just go up to the... You go up to a house and say, Any children here? I'd like to have a party. <laughs> <laughs> that went wrong. There's, there's none of these birds anywhere. I need these birds. So, the other classes, like Druid, who can heal... So every class has like three trees. Your warrior can be a shielded protection warrior, which is his tank class. And he could be an arms warrior, which is like a two-handed beast, berserker type. And you can be a fury warrior, which is like two one-handed weapons, like du- dual wielding or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those, those are your three specializations. For the uh, druid, you can be a feral druid, which... Can turn into animals, and the anim- the feral druid actually acts like a tank or a rogue, stealthy character. Um, the druid can also be a caster that does damage, and can also be a healer. So those are like the three trees. It's like feral. The druid can pretty much do everything. It's like the everything class. Do heals. It can do tanking. It can do stealth. It can do caster. It can do fucking everything. Um, so if you want to play like one class that does everything and just get experience. Like, get to experience, like, most of WoW, just play the Druid. Um, and the other, the, uh, Shaman, uh, can do DPS melee, DPS, uh, caster, or healer. But they can't really be a tank, I don't think. Um, and then the Priest has three different specializations for healing. Three different types of, uh, no, actually, wait a minute, I'm wrong about that. Two different specializations for healing, and the third one is Shadow Priest, which is focused around doing damage. So you can actually be a damage, an evil priest. You can be an evil priest, you know? <laughs> Aren't they all? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what I'm going to be doing, I think. But I will, because you can do dual specializations. So I'm going to do Shadow Priest and Healer Priest or whatever. Let me check my talent. Discipline, Holy Shadow. Those are my three. I need three more idiot swoop flying birds. Just 
just saying, it's pointing me this way. There's one over here. It has found one 150 yards this way. So a lot of times people will play, they choose like these builds and stuff, and they'll look up like optimized builds for their talent trees. I'm not going to do that because that's for losers who don't want to play the game. You're supposed to be able to like look at your tree and make fucking decisions, you know? And be like, I, I mean, want. If you're playing it the first time, like I would be, like, yeah, I wouldn't know all that shit, you know? I think it's more you're fun. Just, you're just well, figuring it out for the first time. But right? it's it's fun for me to look at those things and figure things out, even if you don't get it right. Making those decisions, it's like. It's the same way with magic cards. Half the fun for magic cards is building your deck. But you can also just look up pre-made decks online, but then guess what? You're fucking removing like a huge part of like the actual gameplay, which is making your deck. Yeah. But then people are like, yeah, but you're not gonna be able to get it perfect. It's like, yeah, so what? I don't care, fucking nerd. I'm gonna I don't have to have it perfect in order to you know, it's like there's these types of people who Especially not the first, well, you're not the, as you've played it many times. For me, like, especially not the first time playing the fucking game, you don't want to get it perfect right away. It's like, it's silly. Right. They're so worried that they're going to be, someone else is going to come along and beat them in a PvP duel or something like that. And they're going to be like, hey, see if I had my talent build better than that. <laughs> but then even there, I would be like, yeah, but you didn't even build your talent build. So if you did beat them, what are you proud of? What are you so proud of? You downloaded a fucking cookie cutter thing off of the internet. Can you even be proud of yourself? It says there's supposed to be one 23 yards this way, but um, I think it's just kind of... It. I don't think it can know, know that. It's more like saying 23 yards to the center of the area where they spawn-ish. So oh, I see. It doesn't really know the locations of any all the monsters or anything like that. This ain't no Gothic 2. I, I thought it was literally leading me to the nearest bird that it found, but it's like kind of like if there's maybe one It'll spawn in this vicinity. Probably knows. I need two more. These swoop things are really annoying to find. Um, ch check in this field, though. I see one. On the left here. This field? Over here. I can't see your stupid character. Here. All this way. All right, because you're not in my party. Oh, I see Ooh. it, I see it. You're level eight. Almost there. This bird, this is the fucking bird from Gothic, by the way. We were in Gothic 1, which is like 2000 game, I think 2000. What is that? They have a they're bird in that? The, they're, those, they're like the first enemy you find. It looks like a stupid uh, ostrich type bird. But more, it looks more like this. Specifically, it looks like this. The plane strider. First enemy you fight in the game. You end up becoming like this, just a fodder, you know, at level 5. At first, one will kill you in one bite. So, so fucking bite. You're level eight, so um, you're doing the oh shit, get off me, wolf. You're doing these quests and shit, but normally, nor normally you're supposed to get excited every two levels. So when you reach level six, you reach level seven, uh, eight. Yeah. I mean. oh, I'm gonna look at my things I can buy and train and yeah yeah because it makes you usually upgrade your damage and stuff like you'll get a new ver new rank of heroic strike you'll get a new rank of whatever the fuck you know you don't even have charge right now no nope. wait wait are you looking for more swoops yeah is it, did you find one yeah sometimes they're over in this field one more hey, just one more actually go where you're going to go back that way sometimes they're over here Oh yeah, so, because uh, we're not going to be uploading the previous video, people aren't going to see the starting area. That's fine, it pretty much just looks like this. Is that giant fence over and there? I ran from the starting area to here, that's pretty much all I did. See that giant fence over there? That's this wall here. And you start in a red cloud mesa, they start up in this little tiny microcosm zone, and then you just, once you reach level 4 or 5, you run out here, Bloodhoof Village. It kind of leads you from a small area to a slightly larger area. I was so tired, I don't even remember doing any of this. They Found come... one. Okay, good. Way out here. 
So one advantage of having level three, uh, uh, sorry, not level three, having three times experience gain, is you don't have to do the, like certain quests are really easy to do. The easiest ones are the ones that say, kill 10 of this, right? Because you can just kill 10 and you, you get it. Others quests will say, find 10, whatever, paws or claws or some shit like that, you know? And that, yes. the how long it takes depends on the drop rate. So sometimes it'll be like, find us three claws and the drop rate is like 5%. So you have to kill a fuck ton of them before you get three claws, you know? Sometimes the drop rate is 100% and you just kill, you know, and usually those will say like, uh, find 12 claws. And then you have to, you usually have to kill 12 or maybe like 13 or 14 or something. So it all depends on that shit. But these bird ones are really annoying. The swoop shit, because they're so rare. Wait, are you full? Yeah, but I was able to put a cloak on. You want to give me some inventory? You want to give me some shit? I got a bunch of slots. Let's, let's, uh, since I got my last item, let's just go sell shit. Yeah. Got all my quests done. Almost had to move on. How does, how does this quest thing work? So if I click on the ones to the, on the right side of the screen where it says like these are done, right? What does it say if I mouse on it? I can open the actual quest and it says complete. The quest log actually opens. Freeze the city. Alright, back to the village. Back to the village here. See the village? Yeah. I think I'm gonna invite you. Okay. The party. Alright, um, how do I move your character's shit up on the screen? Because it's currently like quite a bit low under under my name. Do you do that again? Oh, you want it like up against it. Make sure you leave enough room for two rows of buffs. Yeah, currently there's enough room for like five rows of shit. Alright, well, because norm normally the pet goes under there, but you're never going to have a pet, so just uh, click on the X pearl, which is on the top right of your Titan bar, the little white circle thing. Left click that shit, and you should just be able to drag it. And, oh. just, and make sure you click default and click save. So there's a pet window, it's invisible. Where should I move that? Just to the right? To the right of my name, or? Ah, uh, just leave it, whatever, just overlap it. It'll, you won't ever How come I will it? never have a pet? Because only hunters and warlocks have pets. Oh, okay, then I'll never mind. How come I'll never have a pet? I want a pet. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's just the, you know, warriors just, you know, isn't like... <laughs> so without all these mods, like, I wouldn't even see your characters, uh, like, like the thing that I was just moving now, that wouldn't even be there normally? Without any mods if you're playing completely? No, uh, no, you'd have it, but you wouldn't be able to move it. So that what this mod does uh -oh. is it's so unit frames is like the frames for units, right? Right. So it's a unit frame add on, and by default they're usually like you can't change the size, you can't change the position, like all these things. So you're just stuck with whatever they default decided for you. I see. Just turn all these in. Wait, I have a question. How many I get? So What's the turn? What? I don't. So this guy gives me one silver, 25 copper, and 600, Why does 650 it have... experience. Why do I have your quests listed there? That's so weird. I don't know. Right, um, a bunch of new quests appeared when you uh, joined my group or whatever. What? It's sharing the quests or something? Now I see one called the Chill of Death, a new plague. Proof of demise. These I didn't have before. Um, these are all. I'm gonna abandon them all. All these quests are from my start zone, which is like in um in a different continent. Even. This is the last turn-in guy. Like inside of here. 
inside here. This quest did take a while to finish. To complete these three took a fucking half hour or more. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say is like, but if with the three times experience gain, you don't have to do all the quests because like if you're doing it on one times, the yeah. zone the zones are kind of set up so you have to kind of do all of them in order to keep up with the levels of the zones. Yeah. But now yeah, I don't can, need to do everything because I'm going to over level and I, I don't want. So that. you can just abandon like instead of doing the swoops, you should have just like abandoned that quest. Oh. I mean, like fuck this one, you don't need all of them, you know. Unless the quest reward, which you can see in your quest log, is something you want, like if it's a weapon or. Some art item you can actually use that you want, then you might want to do the quest, even if it's annoying. Oh, where's or... these trainers in this land? Oh yeah, your trainers over here. Your Let's see who are these people? Innkeeper. Innkeeper. Oh, first Something aid. else in this building, I don't think. Your first aid trainer. You want to sell your shit? You can sell it to the. Yeah, where's uh, a merchant? You can sell it to the innkeeper. Uh, they have a. I have oh, just right. the thing. They're always a vendor too. Oh shit, yo, I forgot to give you something. Oh yeah? Yep. I'll give it to you in a second. Go in. I had a strength potion to give you, which boosts your strength. You would have been doing even more damage. But I'm an alchemist, I brew potions. I brewed like 80 of these potions and I'm selling 70 of them on the auction house. Closer you to level 10. One, one moment. I'm at level 9. Yeah, Just reached 9. Okay. Um, have you turned in all your quests yet? Have you turned them in? Uh, yes. Every single one? Okay. Yep. What's this uh, flash pellet projectile? Um, yeah, I would just sell it. I think it sells for actually quite a good amount, like 250, 2 silver, 50, copper. 3 silver? Yeah. Um, it's ammo for a gun, which whatever. You're not a hunter. Do I have to keep my cloth and things well, meat? Like, am I going to actually process any of that stuff with this character or no? I'll, I'll take it. I'll do the cooking and the bandaging. Okay. All right. Um, I'll take all that shit right now. I sold everything. I, let's see how much money I got. What you have? Where does this show my silver? Oh, 17 silver. Wow. I did quite well. Your cloth and your... Yeah, you like those categories? Yeah. Of sorting it into meat and cloth and... Oh, yeah. I set all that shit up. Yeah. That's this add-on called Arc Inventory, but it's made by Linux nerds, so they're like, they, you start you off with zero categories, and you have to self-define all of them. They won't just have you like a basic, you know, setup. That's The game's old, these categories are never changing, like they should have some default fucking categories for shit, you know? No, you gotta set it all up yourself. Alright, uh... How do I remove... There's a slot here that says like, tough hunk of red, but I don't have any, but it's like... It's uh, grayed out on my inventory. Well, how far? Oh. How do I remove it? Just drag it and then that. drag it, and when it's on your mouse, right click. Oh, okay. To clear your mouse. Oh, there we go. Right now. Hail. Oh, where's my trainer? Yeah. You have this quest up here. Talk to this guy. Which one? The one I'm standing by here, by the by the inn. Goodbye. And actually, by the way, I could just do this. I don't have any quests from him. He says, tell me a story. I have to first talk to him. Oh, you're not eligible for that quest? What? I don't know. I don't know why. Um, alright. What other quests can you get here? There's like four I can pick up. Do I want to? Who you be? Yeah. Let's see what they are. Here's one. It is 
collect five prospectors' picks. At a forge, smash the picks into broken tools. Um, okay, bring go. five broken tools to this guy. Reward is twenty one hundred experience and uh, high level bindings or Greetings. leggings. I'll take it. I'm just gonna pick up all these quests and then we can abandon them later if we don't like. Yeah. We. Easier that way. Uh, your trainer is in the, in the next. Is that right where you're walking? Actually, you keep walking that way by that circle of what pe people you? sitting or whatever. This one just says, "Use the Winterhoof Cleansing Totem at the Winterhoof Water Well, then return to this guy." What that, the one's, fuck? that one's really close. If you want to do that one, sounds simple as shit. Well, the except for it's and here. Surrounded by uh, little dudes, so you have to kill them all to build. Oh, okay. But you only have to kill like three or four to go back. It reach it. There's a quest in here, or next to this bonfire. Hail. Bring eight wind fury talons. This is where we have to now hunt down these eight fucking idiot birds. No thanks. Not gonna do that one. No, no, they're different birds. They're harpies. Uh, they just take it. To find. Just take it. Yeah, they're all in one place. Just uh, look over here. Uh, There's I've one more quest. Far this way. Oh yeah, I want to show you these Koto beasts, which I showed you last time, but I'll show you again. These are the. This is what now? These Koto. This is called the Koto beast. This, oh yeah. This is gray riding Koto. These are the mounts for the horn. I see. For some reason, they look smaller, like miniaturized. They look, they look small. Yeah, are these like young ones or something? Or no, I think unfortunately they made them smaller in the Wrath of the Lich King client because people probably complained and they said like my pee pee feels small compared to these other, you know, like the other. <laughs> so then they're like, fine, we'll make we'll make the Koto be smaller. How does that feel? Make you feel better? And then they're like, thank you. Was... For it's like you know, have you ever heard that thing where people say like they complain because they wanted to think they wanted their mount to be made bigger, but then they only know how to nerf, they only know how to make things smaller, they only know how to take away. They don't add, they just take away. Yeah. Um. This quest requires a lot of things. Bring a prairie wolf heart, a flatland cougar femur, plain strider scale, a swoop gizzard, um, all these fucking things just for. That seems like a lot. So fuck. But you shit. only need you only need one of each, though. All right, fine. Fuck. And it overlaps with another quest, where you have to get right. cougar claws and wolf, whatever the fuck. Where's my trainer? Over here. All right, and then over oh, here does not help me. Don't follow me. Over here, I mean, follow me, sir. Her character is so tiny, I can barely spot her half the time. Fuck. It's like a little rat running around. Should have made a. Too bad you can't make a Torin healer. I could have been a troll healer. But find the trolls. Or a tiny rat. I could squish you with one hoof. Find the trolls disgusting, especially the female ones. They have such a hunchback posture, and they're fucking. They always they're always squatting and sitting because they don't you know. Oh, well, it's a troll. <laughs> what can you say? I guess here it is. Although I do, I did have a troll mage. I liked. Should I could learn a bunch of things. Charge, rend, thunderclap, hamstring, heroic strike, rank two. Let's learn all this shit. No, well, undead as attractive as possible. She's okay, I guess. You into the whole corpse thing. <laughs> Sick. Perry. I learned all the things. Perry is passive. It'll just automatically parry, and because you can, you can dodge. Every character can dodge. Parry is only for like warrior fighting classes. I think you can parry as a rogue and stuff too, but not like mages and stuff. Um, and then block you can only do if you have a shield. So if you're a uh, tank, you'd have block, parry, and dodge. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me assign these to proper button placement where like where I will use these most commonly. You know. Right. For example, uh, charge is like probably the most common. 
and then heroic strike. Well, and then rend. Uh, rend is the I think um, the best one. Uh, I really like rend because it's a. Uh, um, let's say there's like three guys attacking you. You want to try and put rend on all of them, so that way by the time you switch from your first target to your second one, they've already been damaged over time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then, yeah, if you rend all three of them, then they're like all taking damage. All right, I'm all right gonna, so yep, everything's assigned. I'm going to end this video, because the next video, we're going to be going to the capital city. That way. We're going to see the king! Or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, well, the chief. <laughs> Everything uh, Torin related is like, you know, Native American themed, so he's a chief. Yeah. Which again, like, nothing wrong with it, if, you know, if you put it in the game 10, 20 years ago. But today, if you did that, oh my, oh, you are all kinds would, of yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did it, they got away with it, and now they're grandfathered in. Yep. Brave. Oh, it actually just shows that the world got worse, is what it shows. Like how this guy is a brave, like even that, like a brave is like a Native oh, American God, warrior, no, you know what I mean? Forbid. Yeah. Can't say that. Alright, next video, I guess. Yep. No intro, no outro, because uh, this is Travel Laptop Edition, and so I don't have any of that shit stuff. That's also why you sound worse and everything. But, uh, the Doom video yesterday turned out nice and sharp and, like, just as good as the other recordings, so that's good. Very good.